All right, so as you guys know, the truck is painted. Um, I'm finally on my weekend now, so I can, I got some time that I can get this thing up and going. So basically what I need to do is I need to do some touch-ups here because that paint didn't get on very thick. Uh, I'm gonna paint the rest of this trim, like the rubber trim around the window. I'm gonna paint that white because it's already kind of white, so might as well just continue with that. Um, I mean, this isn't all too bad. There's already dirt on it, or uh, pollen. Need to get rid of the overspray on the windows. Um, I need to paint the rest of this trim. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is chrome trim. I need to paint this white. Uh, wiper arms, I need to paint those white. This trim around here, I need to paint that white. And I need to black out these corner lights. And I need to paint the inside of these fender wells because these are really nasty. I may need to uh, wash this though still. I need to get the paint off the... Wait, uh, can I even get that in? Like, I don't know. Um, obviously, I've got some over, over paint on here so I can get rid of that. Uh, I need to get rid of... The, I just need to do some like paint thinning and uh, paint touch-ups. And then the main thing is the inside of the box, which is, there's still water in it. So that's uh, good, I guess. And there's still dirt and stuff in it. So I may need to power wash that and do that tomorrow. And then on the back end here, um, obviously, there's lights taken out of it. I don't know where this light went. Or why this is so. But uh, then I need to put on the grill. And I've got a tailgate net, like I was just saying, so I need to put that on once the box is painted. So, yeah. So I'm going to start by doing these front uh, corner lights. Uh, obviously, there's going to be or overspray, but I'll just be standing by. Uh, I'll just be standing by with lacquer thinner and a rag to uh, clean it up as it goes. So, doing that first. Uh, the sun is coming around, it's just going to take a while. Probably in like an hour it'll be here. And then I can get to doing the rest of it. I'm probably going to start with the paintbrush just around, around on the windshield and this back trim. Because once those are done then it gets kind of cut in half, like the, all the work gets cut down. And yeah, I mean, there's areas where it ain't the greatest, but she's not bad. Looks good from 20 feet, so. Shade of nightshade, or one coat of nightshades. Makes them a lot uh, glossier from what they were, because they were just really old though. And then I started painting the uh, wiper arms, there's one quick coat. Yeah, just realizing I'm missing a lot of areas, so there we go. Uh, night shades did it. They're nice and dark now. Uh, you can still see the orange through them a little bit, but definitely looks a lot better. So I've got two coats on the wiper arms now. Um, I threw a coat on the back here around the trim. I need to get in there and obviously, you know, clean it up and everything, but probably be going on paint thinner for probably a couple hours cleaning everything up the way I want it so just need to get rid of some overspray over here I'm gonna try paint thinning the uh, light bulbs and then I can not the light bulbs the uh, housings here because they seem to clean want to clean up so I mean I get aftermarket headlights too like the uh, bulbs and or a front end swap so we'll see all right, so uh, I've done a couple of coats on the uh, door handles, mirrors, or the locks, I mean. Uh, wiper arms are painted, so I just need to get all this trim now. Uh, this has one coat on it, just waiting for the sun to hit it. Um, yeah, this one, I gotta clean this one up a bit because it's uh, covered in paint. Might do it there, I don't know. 
I can get that off. And yeah, and then this back trim, that's done. It's got two coats on it, so that's just drying. I've got up top here, around here, so it's just gonna be a lot of uh, cleanup work after all this stuff is dry. But uh, yeah, now I can paint the windshield trim. All right, so at this point, uh, everything is painted. I've got the trim around the windshield. Got the roof here, uh, around the back. Door locks, handles, around the headlights. Yeah. yeah. So this is all done. So I just need to do a bunch of cleanup when this paint dries and then paint the inside of the box here, but I need to power wash all this, so. Still waiting on uh, paint to dry. We have LEDs for the brake lights, but not for the uh, reverse lights. They're different. They're, all these bulbs are covered in electric grease, but these ones are dual prongs, which are all the brake lights, which we have. And the other ones were all like single, single uh, tip on the bottom there. So I, have, I don't have any of those. Paint off these wheels is proving very hard to get off. So that sucks. Uh, so now I'm going to try and scrape off some of this paint on the windows and then uh, when I power for power washing the box I need to put jack up the front end so the water all runs out so um, while it's jacked up I might as well throw the wheels on okay so I got most of the spray that went on to the windshield and all the glass off did what I could. Uh, there's some areas where it's sprayed over, but at the end of the day, it's 50 bucks, so looks pretty good. These headlights cleaned up good with just some lacquer thinner, weirdly enough. So now I'm going to uh, jack up the front end of the truck and put blocks under it. Yeah, little blocks under it, and uh, power wash this thing out. Just uh, power wash the truck a little bit, cleaned out inside the wheel wells, so I can spray some rocker guard in there when the uh, uh, when everything dries. Windows are clean. The box I power washed out, and uh, and just took the shop back to push water out of there, so it should dry up pretty quick. And then I can start painting in there. And yeah, then I can get, I need some new bulbs. But uh, once this is all painted, then I can put the taillights back in. And uh, I mean, I need to repaint some bumper, this bumper a little bit because there's some footprints on it. Get the grill back in. So I can probably do the grill now, now that that's all painted up there. Wiper arms, they're just drying up. They should be pretty dry, but... Yeah, it's coming along. Now that the uh, box is all dry-ish, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start painting it up. Just gotta get all my uh, paint prep. Brush and roller ready and we can start going. Now, is that the box has one coat on it. So obviously gonna need some more, but uh, it's coming. Hubs are all painted. I just put like the third or fourth coat on those. Uh, this is all done up here. Wiper arms are done, obviously, so I can throw the wipers back on. Um, Yeah, I can throw the wipers back on and we can get this thing prop. I'm not going to do the wheels today, and as you can see, I've been playing with some exhaust. So, uh, probably wheels and exhaust tomorrow. And today, I'll just worry about finishing up the uh, inside of the box. And 
getting the tail lights on, I guess, even though I'm missing a couple bulbs, but I need to run up to the hardware store to get those. And then once, if the box is done and dry today, then I can get the tailgate net on. I'll just be throwing that in with self tappers. And uh, having a white box with the black tailgate net should look pretty cool, I'm hoping. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll be back with another update. Okay, so uh, I've been letting this paint dry. Should be getting pretty. Yeah, it's nice and tacky. I can throw another coat in there. Uh, so I'm going to throw another coat in here. Hopefully that'll be the last coat because I don't want to do this again. Um, but I got had a couple cans of undercoating, so I undercoated all this. So it looks a little bit prettier to under there. Uh, ideally, I want to get like four or five, maybe six more and do the rest of underneath and make it look really cool. Um, but I hope you guys can see that in here. Definitely looks a lot better than it did. Gravel guard does really good, goes over dirt or anything, so. Yep, there's that. So, I'm gonna toss another coat on here. And we'll, hopefully that does it. And also, since I've got the grill off, I can get this AC condenser out if I want, which I may as well give the rad a bunch more cooling, so. Basically just a couple bolts here, one down there, one down there, and one more here. And then uh, cut the lines and pull that thing out. Alright, so I got my second coat down on the box. That's going to be it. Uh, it's a box, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it looks alright. Some couple areas up, up front were still like kind of dirty, so that's why the paint didn't really stick to them that well, but it's all good. So. Pretty much, that's gonna be it for today, I think. I'll take out the AC condenser tomorrow or something. Um, I guess I'll throw on my wiper. No, like, there's no point. So, today, another day of not driving the truck, which sucks, but way she goes. So, that'll be it tomorrow. Throw it all together. It'll be a good day tomorrow. I lost a lot of time today just because I was waiting on paint to dry, but yep, she's turning out all right. So I need a couple of bulbs from the store. I don't think I'll be able to get those tonight, but oh well. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.